I saw this interesting Reddit post about calling distros beginner distros and beginner friendly, and it got way more upvotes than I ever would have expected. Can we stop calling user-friendly distros beginner distros? I'll read out the post and then give my general thoughts on it. If we want people to be using Linux instead of Windows or Mac OS, we shouldn't make people think it's something you need to put effort into understanding and belittle people who like Linux but wouldn't be able to code up the entire freaking kernel and a window manager as beginners. It creates the feeling that just using it isn't enough and that you can be good at Linux, when in reality, it should be doing as much as possible for the user. And then this led to a lot of comments being made and they sort of clarified what they were saying. You all made excellent points, so here is my view on the topic now. A user-friendly distro should be the norm. It should be self-explanatory and easy to learn. Many are. Calling them beginner distros creates the impression that they are an entry point for learning the intricacies of Linux. For many, they are just an OS they want to use because the others are crap. Most people won't want to learn Linux and just want to use it. If you want to be more specific, call it casual user-friendly as someone suggested. By the way, I get that you can't learn Linux was dumb, you can stop commenting about it. So first up, I'm going to ignore this rant about having to be able to code the entire kernel or code a window manager, because as someone who talks to some of the most cultish free software supporters you will ever find, I've never heard a single person even remotely try to make that argument. I'm sure that at least one person out there is like that, but there's probably only one person. So moving on from that, it creates the feeling that just using it isn't enough and that you can be good at Linux, when in reality, it should be doing as much as possible for the user. Now, good at Linux is one of those things that people will say or learning Linux and things like that, which I don't really understand as a phrase because good at Linux doesn't really make much sense as a sentence. It's like saying, I am good at book. Like, are you good at reading? Are you good at writing? Are you good at reviewing books? What exactly are you good at? What exactly are you trying to learn? I know that learning Linux is typically used as a colloquialism for learning the GNU core utils and general standard Linux software like Git and things like that, but I don't particularly like the phrasing, because we can also talk about learning Linux in the context of learning GNOME, or learning KDE, or learning how to use a window manager like BSPWM, or learning how Xorg works, or learning how to modify kernel parameters and things like that. Learning Linux is such a massive wide category just saying that simple sentence doesn't really get the meaning across. But as for the other part, I don't understand this feeling of inadequacy you can have based around what other people think about your operating system choice. It's never really been something that I've particularly worried about. I just use what I use and that's pretty much it. I feel like if you're that worried about what other people think about your computer, you need to go and touch some grass. But moving on from that, a user-friendly distro should be the norm. It should be self-explanatory and easy to learn. Many are. And I'd argue not just many, but they absolutely are the norm. So distros like Ubuntu and Fedora most notably, but there are things like Manjaro, PopOS, SteamOS 3, Elementary, Endeavor, and tons more. And distros like these are where the vast majority of Linux users live. They may not be perfect in the experience they offer, but the goal they have is to offer a more user-friendly experience that someone who is not insane can actually start using in a reasonable amount of time. If someone out of nowhere came to me and said, hey, I want to start using Linux, what distro should I be using? I don't know anything about that person, I don't know how technical they are, how much time they want to spend messing with Linux, how much free time they just generally have in the first place, I would recommend something that I know is going to give them a generally good experience. It's not going to be a perfect user experience, but their goal is to improve it. This sort of experience is great for the people who want it, which is most people but it doesn't mean that the other distros shouldn't exist. 
The distros which I'm going to refer to as the neckbeard distros, the void, gen 2, arch and bedrocks of the world. These existing is a good thing and I feel like due to the nature of FOSS they are always going to exist because like-minded people are always going to congregate to make a like-minded project and there's always going to be people who want something that is a lot more stripped down. But what is very important about one of these distros is being upfront and honest about what they actually are. If you're not a fairly technically minded person who has quite a bit of free time, you probably shouldn't use one of the neckbeard distros. You absolutely can, but the experience you'll get is going to be subpar compared to someone who actually has the time to put into their system or compared to just using something that works quite well out of the box. Because no matter what sort of argument you're going to make, you can set up something like Ubuntu or Fedora or Manjaro or PopOS vastly quicker than any person, unless they've already spent that time making an install script, can get their environment set up with something like Arch, for example. So calling them beginner distros creates the impression that they're an entry point for learning the intricacies of Linux. Now, when I first read this, I had to do a bit of a double take because that is exactly what these distros are. But let's step back from Linux for a moment and then apply this logic to a different field. Right now on the screen, you're seeing a picture of my car. Well, it's not my car, but it's the same model of car. This is a four cylinder hatchback. It's very cheap, it's easy to drive, and it's a great car to learn in when you're first getting your license. This is a great beginner car. But at this stage, I've had my license for a couple of years, and I'm far past what you'd refer to as a beginner driver or a learner driver or whatever your region refers to as the people who are first learning to drive. So is there anything wrong with me keeping a car like this? Do I need to go and replace it with something that is a bit more, you know, fun to drive? Maybe get myself like, I don't know, a V8 Mustang or something like that. Well, no, because it still does everything that I need. And in many ways, it does it way better than many other cars. And I feel like the exact same holds true for your Linux distro as well. Fedora, for example, is a great beginner distro. It gives an environment that basically just works. So you don't need to like spend all of this time configuring stuff, fiddling around to just get a graphical environment working. You install it and you're good to go. And some people don't want to exactly turn Linux into a job. For those people, this is a great distro to use or Ubuntu or PopOS or maybe Manjaro, other things like that. But it's not like Fedora is iOS, for example. It's not this lockdown system where you can't just go and do anything you want to it that would limit what is available to an advanced user. So Fedora is great for both beginner users and advanced users. For a beginner user, it's this great place you can go to start learning how to use GNOME, learning how the terminal works, learning how everything in the Linux environment works without this massive barrier to entry. And for advanced users, they can just keep working with the system they've always been using without dealing with that setup nonsense and just dealing with it in places where they feel like they want to start exploring. I personally know tons of people, I'm sure you do as well, who started using Linux on one of these beginner distros. They felt like it did everything they ever needed to do and then just never went anywhere else. And that's totally fine. There is nothing wrong with that. And for many, this is just an OS they want to use because the others are crap. Most people won't want to learn Linux, they just want to use it. Now, I've already discussed why I don't really like the idea of phrasing it as learning Linux, but let's just talk about it as generally learning how to use your new system. You'll also have to go and learn how to use macOS or Windows if you've never used them before. This doesn't mean you have to go and dig deep into the system like on Windows, you know, messing with registry editing, doing stuff in the command prompt, things like that, and on macOS, I guess opening the terminal, and then on the Linux side, messing with custom kernels, bootloaders, init systems, and things like that. But by the nature of using a new system, you're going to be forced to learn something about it in some manner. Generally, that just means learning your graphical environment, but 
if you want to use something different, there's no way to get around that unless every DE is just a clone of whatever you were using before. So you have nothing but Windows clones and Mac OS clones, but that's not the way that open source works. People make things they want to make, and if they want to have an experience like that, they're going to make it, but things that are different are going to exist as well, and in many cases, those things are going to be more popular. And if you want to be more specific, call it casual user-friendly as someone suggested. Now, whoever suggested that, I feel like they've got to be trolling, because casual user-friendly sounds so much more condescending. Let's say you're a network administrator as a job, and when you're at home, you run Ubuntu, or you run Fedora, and you don't even touch Windows in your life. Literally everything in your life is Linux. I don't feel like that person's a casual user. Yes, it certainly is casual user friendly, but this term has that baggage, but then also all of the same baggage that beginner friendly has as well. So if the goal here is to like not sound condescending, this is certainly not the best option to go with. I personally think beginner friendly is totally fine. I have no idea why this post got 1600 upvotes. And a lot of people are certainly like debating whether this is a good way to describe distros, but a lot of people are also just in general agreement. Honestly, to me, arguing about how to describe these distros is kind of a distraction from the actual problem. It doesn't matter if you call them beginner friendly, casual friendly, new user friendly, it literally doesn't matter whatsoever. The actual problem is the distros themselves. Because while these beginner friendly distros do have this goal of being beginner friendly and easy to use, there are certainly areas where they can be improved upon. Not just with the general graphical environments themselves, those certainly need a bit of work in certain places, but when it comes to the FOSS alternatives to otherwise proprietary software, Critter, Blender, and OBS are absolute exceptions. These are amazing pieces of software, and with the exception of Critter, are basically like the standard for doing those tasks. But when we're talking about things like LibreOffice, GIMP, Caden Live, while being really good pieces of software, they pale in comparison to the proprietary alternatives. And the gaming side is getting a lot better on Linux, but it's absolutely not perfect. There's still a lot of work that absolutely needs to be done. There is so much confusion around distros and what distros to use. Like, should I use this distro? Should I use that distro? There's like hundreds of different distros to use. And when you're a new user, it's unclear which of those distros are even worth to consider in the first place. Things like this, and the fact that Windows and Mac OS are just doing what the regular person needs them to do, these are the reasons why more people aren't using Linux. It's not based on how we refer to the distros, it's based around the actual problems that still do exist. Whether you call it beginner-friendly, user-friendly, casual-friendly, or anything else, it literally doesn't matter. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you think the language we use is incredibly important. If that's the case, please let me know why. I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Sony Barrow Pay, linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.